okay we're getting ready to start now and I'm not going to go into details I mentioned in the previous video about installing Joomla manually or through your cPanel uh, because I have courses that's dedicated to those I just want to show you how to you know get this site up and going uh, in a very short you know period of time but also in quality so right now I'm over here by the um, extension manager this is where you have a ton of uh, tons of extensions that you can be able to use and extensions they allow you to add more features on your site so when you scroll through here you have a bunch of different categories that if you wanted to let's say for example this one to keep a backup which is one of the most uh, extensions that you definitely need to have on your site uh, you click to install it and it's going to install it and you're going to have access to that Bob based on Joomla just the core of it you don't really have these features that's why Joomla have a separate section that allows you to integrate that directly on your website uh, so that's what this is here and if you notice on the tab you have install from web tab uh, upload package file and stuff from folder and stuff from your URL if you don't have this installed from web tab uh, then uh, you have to make sure that there's something that you have to you have to uh, do to get that so what you have to do if you don't see this tab here because sometimes when you install it you don't see this tab then you have to go to system global configurations uh, for those of you who don't have that tab you go to system here and you have to set the cache to disable and you have to go over back to system and you click on clear cache and then you go over here whatever cache you see here and you click on delete so you've deleted the cache and when you come back now to this part you're going to be able to see this here as you show up so in case you didn't have to because sometimes that happens with previous versions of uh, Joomla okay so now we're here and what we want to do is we want to install this extension called project fork so I'm going to grab it from my computer and I'm going to upload and install it and when you open up the file you present with different things here which I'm gonna cover you know this later on but so right now you go with where it says PKG that's the package so you click on it and you want to click on upload and install okay so the package was successfully installed now we're gonna do the same thing for these ones here I'm gonna install the next one we're gonna choose uh, the comp this this one at the PF design click on that and click on upload and install okay that was done successfully so I'm gonna do the same thing for uh, for the mod PF for all of these here so I'm just gonna install this so pretty much everything that you're seeing here I'm gonna install with the exception of the, um, the CB that's community builder which I'm not using that so I'm going to install everything that you see on here and you do the same thing too so once you've installed it you go over to where it says extension I'm sorry component uh, you notice that you have project fork right here so what you want to do is you want to click on project fork and now you have this screen so this is showing you all the different uh, things that you have um, that you're gonna be able to access so you have the projects milestone which I'm gonna cover in you know subsequent videos but your dashboard should look something like this if your dashboard doesn't look something like this you have some type of error on it then you have to reinstall it again just go back here and then click install again and then you should be set to go